The long-awaited announcement of the ball that Storm boldly claimed would reinvent the benchmark is here, so I'm here to break it all down and give you an idea of what's coming. The Ion Pro is the name, and right away, uh, don't feel any kind of way about the optics in this photo render. It looks quite a bit sharper in real life if you want to check out Storm's announcement stream on their Facebook page. The whole thing is a little excessive and over the top, but to their credit, they did still put an awful lot of meat and substance in there. People buying more tour type or benchmark balls typically don't like flashy or bright colors, and I'm in that camp because it's usually fairly distracting. So the fact that the colors are more muted and darker with a medium brightness logo color serves the purpose of the ball the best, and they achieve that while still making it look pretty nice. The cover is TX16 Hybrid at 4000 grit, so same formula as the Phase 2 and Journey, and this is the first time we've seen the hybrid version stateside, so we're starting with something both familiar and reasonably new at the same time. The Element Tour AI Core is something new for Storm, if not exactly new territory in general. The numbers are a low 247RG, a medium to low 035 differential, and also a medium-ish 014 int diff in 15 pounds. And uh, Alex Hoskins mentioned in the stream that this is the first core that they designed specifically with the AI outer core in mind. Now for reference, these numbers are right on top of the ones for Hammer's Envy Tour, which is a 2.469RG, or basically 247, an 034 differential, and an 013 int diff. Now, to be perfectly fair again, there's only so many places to go with things like ball colors, core numbers, and the range of cover strengths. There's really not the flexibility, either in the rules or in the zone where good ball reaction lives, for anyone to really reinvent anything. So, I'm not going to take them to task over this point. It's just to give you an example or a reference to get you into the ballpark of where this ball lives. The web tour was basically an IQ tour copycat several years ago too, and you can find parallels all over the place from top to bottom in everyone's lines. But good ball reaction is good ball reaction, and that's really what you're targeting. So even if you want to argue that the Ion is an NV tour copycat, a lot of other worse things that they could have done instead. For SPI fans that don't throw other companies, this is a fresher, more unique look for you. I think they really paid attention to the reception of the Tour Dynamics, which just wasn't quite enough ball for what it was designed for. The core was just a little too low on the differential and int diff, and the cover was too weak, so while it looked great with a bunch of surface on it, it kind of turned into a marble when it shined up, and it just needed, it needed too much friction or too much help from the lane surface and the condition most of the time. The Ion Pro basically takes that idea and beefs the cover and core up somewhat. TX-16 is a medium to medium high strength cover, the lower RG will get the ball rolling and revving quickly, and the slightly above IQ Tour territory differential is a really nice spot for flare potential control. If you drill the ball stronger, it'll flare quite a bit. If you drill it weaker, you can really knock it down and keep it in a manageable place, so a lot of layout flexibility with this one. The 014 int diff is also a nice place for the asymmetry, uh, not as much torque as the big stuff, but a little more than the TDX or a Rubicon. This also puts it in a place where I think it would be just as at home in a league setting as it would in a tournament setting. Not too strong or slow for league, but not too weak or dynamic for tougher conditions. Now, while no ball anymore is going to be truly revolutionary or do something you've never seen before, they can nip and tuck and adjust things to dial them in a little more, and that's what they did here. Only bone to pick is that it doesn't release until June 21st, so why they started teasing it in the middle of April and announced it now at the end of bowling season, just for it to come out dead in the middle of summer, I don't know. But it will be there for you to pick up at the beginning of the league season, and this way you know about it early enough to make sure you don't spend all your money at the golf course because you probably suck at golf anyway. Once again, if you want to know more, I'd encourage you to go watch the live stream on their Facebook channel. They talk a lot about it and show several bowlers throwing it. Sure, it's definitely from a promotional angle, but there's also a lot of good information in there, like I said. Thanks for watching, and may the strikes be with you.